Hey, what's up guys? This is Andre Estrepo and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna break down three simple shots you might not think of when you're filming a travel vlog. So let's get into it right now. So before getting into this video, I have to mention that on a recent trip to Cancun, Mexico, I planned to make a really cool travel vlog about it, kind of like the one that I did in Hawaii. So the funny thing is I got these three type of shots and some other ones, but no storyline, so there's not really a video there. So I decided to turn that vlog into this video, breaking down three simple shots you can get next time you're out vlogging. So let's break down my two films and get into it right now. This one is honestly one of the most simple yet I feel like most forgotten and it's really important because it's setting the story honestly. It's kind of showing your viewer where you're at and you can be really creative with this by using really unique ways of showing an establishing shot of where your vlog is taking place. So in my case when I was headed to Hawaii one of the main things that I wanted to bring and make sure I could fly over there was was my drone. I know Hawaii is known for really breathtaking landscapes and so I wanted to make sure that I could bring my drone and use that for not only just really cool shots of the scenery and the landscapes but using that for establishing shots to show the viewer where I am, what it looks like and so using a drone was gonna work perfectly for that. And it's not like you have to have a drone for establishing shots, especially because you can't fly a drone just anywhere you want. I made sure in advance and especially always check to make sure it was okay wherever I was gonna fly and luckily in Hawaii, it was really good. But you can also use a wide angle lens. Uh, one of the lenses that was always on my camera was this 16 to 35 uh, because 16 millimeters on that full frame camera is a great perspective because it's a really wide look. And so even if you don't have a drone, just try and get to a higher perspective, higher ground, and show the viewer where you're at is just gonna add a lot more to your story and be also just really cool shots. And this could be done a variety of ways, you know, whether you're arriving to your location, so you can actually just vlog where you're going, different shots of how you're getting there, whether you're on a bus shooting out the window. So having a wide angle lens on your camera is perfect for that. Okay, so moving on to shot number two, and that is gonna be POV shots. Thanks, sir. I think point of view shots is a really unique element that adds to your story, not only because you're showing where you're at, what you're doing, but from your perspective. So you're basically showing the viewer exactly what you see. And then yet again, this is where a wide angle lens is gonna come in perfect for that. Even if you have it on your camera, put it on, you know, just you're showing what you're doing, whether you're about to grab something, whether you're about to grab something, you know, showing that point of view is gonna look really cool. And then one of the other cameras that I made sure to bring to Hawaii was a GoPro. I knew that this was gonna be a perfect way to do these POV shots, especially because of just that wide perspective and really small camera. And it was also great in instances where I didn't have my big DSLR setup. Whether we were zip lining or riding waves, that's where a GoPro or an action camera came in perfect for that because I really wanted to show what we were doing from my perspective and my DSLR setup was not ideal for that. Okay, and then shot number three is underwater shots. This might be a little biased, but I'm a huge fan of underwater shots. I think it just adds so much more and honestly makes your vlogs more epic. And I honestly believe like if you're in a breathtaking landscape, for example, when I was in Hawaii, it's beautiful on the top 
you know, that scenery above water. But I think the other half is underwater. And so that was also another main reason why I brought a GoPro because I wanted to make sure to get those underwater shots and those clear waters. Whenever we were going snorkeling, I think that just adds so much more to the story. And then whenever you shoot underwater in slow motion and then you pair that with some really good underwater sound design, I think it just, it sounds so much better. So whenever I see that in travel vlogs, I'm just stoked because especially if it's done right, just feels like I'm there and it's just honestly a point of view underwater. That's an awesome vlog. Which brings me to my bonus tip and that is telling a good story. A lot of these vlogs and a lot of videos that I see on YouTube is just all about epic landscape shots, you know, getting really tight B-roll stuff and just paired with cinematic music and it's like, yeah, those are really cool, but use these shots to take it a step further to tell a really cool story with your vlog. So coming in, showing where you're at, using those establishing shots, then of course getting really cool B-roll of the place, going along with whatever you're talking about, and also using those point of view to give the viewer that unique perspective and then finishing it off with some underwater shots. That's an awesome vlog. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts if you have any other ideas and other cool shots you'd like to get when you're making travel vlogs, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be a part of my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Time to edit.